A wildfire roars in the Greek island of Rhodes, marking six days since the blaze began. A multinational effort is underway to help contain the disaster that sent more than 19,000 people scrambling for safety. Adding to the danger in Greece are temperatures climbing north of 45 degrees Celsius paired with dry conditions and island winds known to change speed and direction. Dozens of private boats teamed up with the Coast Guard to ferry away the thousands who made their way to the Greek shoreline in what authorities there described as one of the biggest evacuation efforts in the country's history. One government official said maritime rescue carried 3,000 people to safety, while others gathered outside of schools and gymnasiums for a chance at securing a mattress on a basketball court and staying out of harm's way. Rhodes is a tourist destination known for its long beaches. It is also home to more than 100,000 people who've been living in the cloud of this wildfire for nearly a week, but they are not alone. Firefighters elsewhere in Greece recently battled blazes to the north and west of the capital Athens. Unrelenting heat waves have contributed to that fire and experts warn this could be the new normal. These events will continue to grow in intensity and the world needs to prepare for more intense heat waves. Uh, the recently declared El Nino is only expected to amplify the occurrence and intensity of extreme heat events. So um, we're in for a bit of a ride, I'm afraid and they will have quite serious impacts on human health and livelihoods. El Nino is a climate pattern which describes warming waters that can result in significant shifts of ground conditions and temperature according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. The fires near Athens and on the island of Rhodes are among dozens Greek authorities have struggled to contain and keep from spreading to nearby forests. Arash Basadi, VOA News.